state lawmakers move to impeach Attorney General Jason Roundsburg as new video shines a light onto the investigation into Joe Beaver's death. The details are first on Fox tonight. The Attorney General of South Dakota is officially facing impeachment. Good evening, I'm Caroline Petty. And I'm Aaron Dickens. Today, State Representative Will Mortensen of Peer, along with the Majority Leader and a Minority Leader of the State House, brought forward articles of impeachment against Roundsburg. Austin Goss has been following this story since September and brings us our story tonight from Peer. Five months after his involvement in an accident that killed Joe Beaver, Attorney General Jason Roundsburg is officially being impeached. Representative Will Mortensen brought the articles Tuesday after a long, heated caucus discussion. The resolution that I brought today was uh, the hardest decision I've ever made in my life. Uh, what happened with Mr. Beaver and the Attorney General last fall was nothing short of a, a human tragedy on all sides. Um, but in the months following and, and weeks and days, uh, the more I thought about it and talked to folks I trust, uh, the more I came to realize what I think a lot of South Dakotans are feeling. Mortensen brought the resolution along with Majority Leader Kent Peterson and Minority Leader Jamie Smith. All three say this has nothing to do with politics. Nothing to do with uh, political politics. Uh, this is about what's right for the state of South Dakota. Um, you know, the, the nation... Uh, uh, impeachment is not a, a word that uh, we like to use lightly here in the state, especially what happened just on the national level. And, and as a, a Democrat in South Dakota, I'm very well aware of that. The Republican House caucus convened Tuesday at 12 and ran well over an hour. Sources familiar with the situation say that the attorney general was given an ultimatum, resign or be impeached. Out of that meeting came articles of impeachment. Uh, it's very important to me that this is someone from my district, uh, Mr. Beaver was, I mean, a Highmore resident, and so I kind of felt a special duty um, as his representative to bring this if someone was going to. The three representatives who brought those articles of impeachment said that they did not have an exact timeline as to when that impeachment trial might begin, nor did they know exactly what an impeachment trial in the South Dakota State Legislature might look like. In Pierre, I'm Austin Goss. And Governor Kristi Noem today joined the growing chorus of voices calling for Roundsburg to resign. In Governor Noem's statement this morning, she said, quote, Now that the investigation has closed and charges have been filed, I believe the Attorney General should resign. I have reviewed the material we are releasing, and starting today, I encourage others to review it as well. And new tonight, the Department of Public Safety releases video of South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. He is being interviewed by special agents from the North Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation right after the fatal crash. In the video, investigators say based on their evidence, it appeared that the Attorney General was on the phone at the time of the crash reading political artic articles. Prosecutors say both of his phones were locked about a minute and 15 seconds prior to impact, Roundsburg insists he put the phone down before the impact and reached to the radio to turn it off. Everything that we're seeing here is appearing that you were on your phone reading political stuff at the time. Um, but I just wasn't. <coughs> I, I set it down. I know I did. We have a job. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. People make mistakes. Right and we're thinking you made one. I don't remember being on my phone. I set it down and I shut the radio off and I looked at the, I looked at the speedometer the best I remember. And investigators also say they found Beaver's glasses in the passenger seat of Roundsburg's car, leading them to say that Beaver's face came through the windshield. Roundsburg denies seeing Beaver the night at all of the crash and also denies seeing his glasses. It was not until Roundsburg came back to the scene the next day when he says he discovered Beaver's body. We know certain things. We know those are his glasses. They were on his head because they were seen on his head. They ended up in your car. I never saw him until you showed him to me. Okay. I never saw him, no. And there's much more in the full video of the investigators' interviews with Roundsburg, and you can check that out on our website. 